must get to the sea as soon as possible. But their trials have only just begun.
shellfish live a high octane life. To survive, they must find prey daily, so their entire existence will be spent on the moon. Over 90% of the living space for life on our planet is in the oceans. Home to the biggest animal that exists or has ever existed. The blue whale. Some weigh nearly 200 tons, twice the size of the largest dinosaur. Despite their great size, we still have little idea of where they travel in the vast oceans, and none at all of where they go.
But one of their greatest premiumbeat.com was to find the increasingly rare oceanic white tip shark and film this fearsome predator in blue water without the safety of a shark cage. Premiumbeat.com The Bahamas in winter. And the underwater team prepares to film rare close-up images of oceanic white tips in their natural surroundings. Cameraman Rick Rosenthal has been working in the open ocean for over 30 years and has filmed these sharks before. Premiumbeat.com Roaring right up to the zodiac and I was having the mouth was full open. To help him, he's trusting his life to the latest in wetsuit camouflage. The new Rick Rosenthal. I'm going the uh, pelagic jellyfish look to kind of get lost in the big world out there. Uh, whatever we can do to get an edge. Anything to get close to the animals. Also on board is cameraman Doug Anderson. He's never encountered an oceanic white tip before, but he does have a view on what they'll be like. I roughly think of them like little dogs, you know. Um, and some little dogs are nice little dogs, and some little dogs are nasty little dogs. And whatever, you know, when you're in the water, you just got to make a presence spell and, uh, and uh, try and judge the situation to the best of your ability. Unlike the more familiar reef sharks, oceanic white trees are true ocean wanderers. Once they were abundant, but fishing for shark fins has devastated their numbers, making them far more difficult to find. As they prepared to dive, they had no way of knowing what lay in wait below. or nasty, Doug's little dogs were also somewhat camera shy. That is premiummeat.com. As with most dives in the open ocean, seeing nothing is normal, so Rick and Doug persisted in their search. Premium With the sharks refusing to appear, the team was forced to resort to the tried and tested technique of chumming. It was time to give the little dogs a bone. What we've done is we've set up a chum line, which is basically a case of hanging uh, like an onion bag full of the most disgusting, awful that you can think of, the stuff that they couldn't even face put into turkey twizzlers. And waiting for some sharks to turn up. It's really not much science in it, apart from making sure that the slick of smell and stuff that's going to attract the sharks in hopefully goes in the right direction. And, and the right direction for here is um, it's not over the reef, but over the blue water, because that's where the oceanics live. The irresistible smell of rotting fish worked its magic, and soon the first shark appeared. There was no knowing how long it would hang around. 
Let's show the drivers needed to get into the water fast. Premiumbeam.com. The team could at last get to work. White Tip is a known man-eater, a reputation it gained from attacking sailors forced to abandon ship during the Second World War. PremiumBeat.com Yet this shark seemed almost nervous, wary of the two strange objects that had entered its world. This was Doug's first chance to get a good look at his little dog. about getting in with them. It's a smart idea to stick biscuits and chum and when you put a diver in, hell no. Because <laughs> we become part of the chum. Diving with no man eaters is potentially dangerous, especially when they arrive expecting food. The secret to staying safe is to watch their every move had to know when to leave the water. These sharks appear to be relaxed, allowing Rick and Doug to get rare pictures of one of the ocean's top predators. But white tips are very unpredictable. So while the sharks were being nice, the team took full advantage to get some of the close-up shots they needed. But they were always looking for telltale signs that things were about to get nasty. And if in doubt, there was only one option. The final day saw the arrival of three shark premium beat Oh, he's huge! Look at the size of him! Let's go crazy down here now! a change. The white tips were becoming bolder and more aggressive. Their courage seemed to be buoyed by the presence of the other shark. Premium meat. Worse still, it was becoming impossible to keep track of all three sharks at once. And soon the white tips began to show more than just curiosity towards the divers. Some sharks investigate potential prey by bumping it before they attack. Rick recognized the signs. It was time to leave. He was surrounded and knew the boat had to get to him fast. It was down to Doug 
to get the final shots and get out before his nice little dogs turn really nice. Premium B. Had allowed the 